Panty Tums, Panty Pies. You simply won't get tinier. Peens. Not quite peas. Not quite beans. But something special in betweens. Barbara, get the big plates out. Oh, Nigel. Give your wife the best. Give her Big Ron's big pies. Come on down to what you... Come on down to Wedge's Bread Hall, where we have an ample variety. Bammy Bazzers, Buttery Nubs, Bammy Bazzers, Buttery Nubs, Bammy Bazzers, Buttery Nubs, Bammy Bazzers, Buttery Nubs. Family. Romance. Dick. Visit Banzo. It's rate good. So that's Banzo. Strange place, I know, but... They need what we're selling, see? I've got you a meeting with the Lord Mayor today. So don't miss that bus. Are you listening? Get going! What are you still doing here, boy? Get out! Bands with the... Good grief, lad! The front door is right there! We're ten stories up for crying out loud! Now then, Larry, how about a cobbler's pint, eh? What's a cobbler's pint, then? It's like a normal pint, but I take both my shoes off. Uh, I'd love to, Ronnie, but the beer's coming out all flat. Flat? Well, why don't you go down into the cellar and knock a few barrels about? Slim chance of that. I don't even know how to get downstairs. You can't get downstairs in your own blinking public house. Well, Florence normally does it, but she's off today. Good grief. Well, you're down there, lad. Give those barrels a 
shake up, won't you? I wake up, can of lager, then I do a big wee, then I get out of bed and I go downstairs for my morning pint. You know, you need steady hands to be a locksmith. Ah, Larry, you were just talking about my morning pint. I think I'll take it now, please. Right you are, Ronnie. Another morning pint coming up. You working today then, fella? Yes. In fact, I'm supposed to be at Meg's already, I think. I'll be back in a moment for my morning pint. Oh, what's he like, eh? Come on then, let's pour you a pint and all. On the house. That Ronnie's a character. He'll be back later, I reckon. You're here. I spied a shiny tuppence down this hair runoff. But more fool me, my arm has become trapped. Perhaps you might see about sourcing some lubrication that I might slip free. seen a hole as big as that before. Marge, I don't think this thing's worked in quite a while. How have you been cooking fish and chips all this time? Oh, I just do a cold fry, usually. Whoa. Hang on a wee minute. Where's my blinking spanner? Oh, don't tell me it's been pinched again. It'll be that senile old fishmonger fish down at the market. You better get down there and find it, or it'll be cold chips till the cows come home. Now then, Marge, about my payment. Oh, well, it looks like there's no money in the till. No, no, I'm not doing it like that again. I didn't walk right for a week last time, and that vinegar smell's only just washed out. Suit yourself. <laughs> what have we got? 
got here then? A toad and the owl. Don't worry, little fella. I'll pop you down the apples and pears in a jiffy. <coughs> Ah, a fine mess. Don't bother there, young man. Help yourself to some scrambled bread on your way out. Oh, thank goodness you're here. I've been sucking this pipe all morning. I haven't got a drop out of it. Little Tomantha is and he crossed it over. We need to dampen that topsoil pronto. Thank goodness you're here, man. This store's a right mess. Give us a hand setting it up, won't you? I'll do it myself, but me gout's playing up. No idea how that got there. Aye, pull the other one. Passing off my spanner as a stiff kipper, is it? But we've been friends for 40 years. Why on earth would I betray your trust now? Uh, why don't you spare me the excuses, you fat trout? I'm taking this back to my toolbox where it belongs. How embarrassing. Where are you going, you little way about? Kaleo? Oh, I. Very handsome, my dog. <laughs> What's it doing in there? Oh, you've come just in the nick of time. I came in as usual, opened up shop. Counted till, went to make my first buy of the day, and then I realised, we've no meat! I can't make a pie without meat! It's the second most important ingredient! Ooh, I hate to say it, but you'll have to get down to Sam's hams and pick us up some of his steaks. Oh, a sorry state indeed. Florence! Get that oven warmed up for when this young man comes back. Yes, of course, Mr. Warren. Right away. Come on then, lad. Let's be having you. Oh, hello there, young man. Thank goodness you're here. My drain pipes are all blocked up over there, and I need them cleaning out. Won't you give it a go? Great job! It's only Nancy's new bloody boyfriend, she's got a new one every week. 
All right, it'll be nice to have a proper sit-down tea. I'd rather have a sit-down wee. Oh, bien. Chicken bake, please, love. Ah, right, well, with no butter today, Colin's gone and lost it. So it's vision. I hope that's all right. Oh, no, I'd rather shit bed. television last night. The numbers were getting higher and higher. The programming, more and more irreverent. I was almost entrapped by the telly shopping. A long form piece about a wet and dry vacuum cleaner almost caught my eye. But then I happened upon the strangest of things. An entire television channel dedicated to women on the phone. Of course, I dialed in immediately, and the operator connected me to the most enchanting lady, Chantel. We spoke for hours of Tolstoy, and of Dickens, and of Tchaikovsky, and of course, anatomy. And see, that's why I needed your credit card details, Larry. Right, Ronnie. For the telly ladies. Yeah, that's right, Larry. That was for a night of mutual pleasure. Right you are, Ronnie. Now, about my tap, I won't be paying it. I need all of that money for the wet and dry vacuum. I wonder, Larry, just how wet can we get it? Cracking work reclaiming my spanner from that despicable fishmonger. Unfortunately, I've just noticed my screwdriver's gone missing too. It's probably that daft lassie, Kerry, down at Price Shaggers. Eh, hey, hello. He shoves the bits you found his spanner. Kerry Louise Pickle, passing off my flathead as your produce, is it? Yes, but why on earth would I do that? I can't eat on my back for a minute in this town without one of you pinching my tools. I swear down, I've never seen this before in my life. Ah, you likely story. I'll be filing a complaint with the head office, that's for sure. Hey, anyway, back to the chip with us. You're right with you, Jasper. Anyway, thank you for that, Kida. Hey, thanks for helping me get the screwdriver back, laddie. I wish I could say we were done, lad, I really do. But as I got back, I noticed my hammer's gone walkies. He must have been pinched by that no-good yob, Frank. He's probably doing it the brook, poaching fish as we speak. Again, ready for another bit of fiddlesticks, are you? Watch your knees. <coughs> ah, hello again. Didn't expect to see you twice in one day. Well, well. I never thought I'd see the day where the big man would come to me for his meat. Come up here and have a do on this then.
Ooh, excellent work, lad. A fine cut indeed. No, make quite the pie, I'll tell thee now. Now, I suppose all we need to do is... Right! I've forgotten the most important ingredient! Pie mix. Here we are. I'm sure there's the number in here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Pastry Pete's Premium Mixture Company. Pie Mixture Delivery for Pies. Dot biz. Pastry Pete's Premium Mixture Company. Pie Mixture Delivery for Pies. Dot biz. Horrible raw. All right, lad. The number is... Oh. One. Two. Another two. Six. Hello, this is Pasty Pete's Premium Pasty Pastry Mix. Colin, is that you? Oh, hello, Mr. Ron. Yeah, Pasty Pete's off today. He's took Auntie Margaret down to Guernsey. So you've forgotten my pie mix, then? Oh, no. I'm ever so sorry, Mr. Ron. My memory's not been so good since my mum put me back on the business. Well, you better bring us three big mix boxes post haste! Yes, uh, I'll be right over. Oh, there you are, Colin! Here you go, Mr. Ron. I came as fast as I could. Ooh, blowing. What the chore? Oh, hello, Colin. I had no idea you were Ooh. in the pie industry. I see. Oh, yes. I've always wanted to work with Grush. Oh, young love. You're looking extra sweaty today, Colin. Thanks. It's actually butter. Slippy. S super slippy. You should see me get down at Ginnell. I'm like a whippet. I love whippets. Really? They're skinny. The doctor says we've got a very similar bone structure. It shows you. My dentist says I've got the teeth of a springer spaniel. Maybe we should, uh, I don't know, go to the hygienist together sometime. Oh, to Colin! Ooh, Florence! Now, Florence. Enough, Enough for everyone. everyone. They send down to Big Ron's, where we've made our biggest pie yet. Big Ron, how big is the pie? It's a pie so big, you could feed a family of five for 40 years, and you'd still have enough for supper. It's a pie so big, you'd get lost in it. It's a pie so big, I have dreamt of it since I was a small boy. A pie so big, that I feel as if I have been fighting my way. Now look, I know you've told me before, but why can't you just, well, you know, make your pies a bit... your massive head. Yeah, it isn't massive. For crying out loud, Rog, there's no shame in it. <laughs> He's gone as mad as a mud pie on a Monday morning. Yeah. Grab us a sack of that brown and let's get the hell out of here. 
I'm sorry, Mr. Peeling. We did everything we could. <laughs> What's he doing? Violet sound balloon. Roger's got a big head and he's a massive belly. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, Peelings. That pool isn't going to pay itself. Sorry, mister. It's company policy. Peas, not flat peas, not flat beans. Not something special. Never mind then, love. <laughs> I like it. I can't keep pretending anymore, Roger. It's just too big. Ooh. It's just too big. Too big. That will fit. No. Extra, extra large. Too big. This is a family restaurant. Too big. Too big. It's just too, too big. Too big. Too big. Too big. Too big. Right then, Rog. I'll see you next week. <laughs> Hang on a minute. These coasters are one way. Very strange. Lois, Mum Wang, she said you're a bitch. No, she didn't. Yeah, she did. She said you're a big fat bitch. Terry, give over. No, you're a proper bitch, you, Florence. Everyone says so. Even Colin. No, we don't. Don't talk about Colin or I'll smack you. Okay, Koki Gaffner, keep your rhubarb folding on the way down. Gow! <laughs> oh, you, you little, you little dusty gentleman, you. Come on, let's get her open. Steady as you go. Beautiful baby boy. And bigger than I thought. Daddy? Daddy? Cream of the crop. Uh, Bobby, you old chew stick. You nearly scared me soft. What can I do you for? Sorry to bother you, Herbert. But there's been reports of crime in the area. Shit! That's right. Have you seen this criminal at all? Hang on a minute. That's no criminal. That's the honest businessman who sold me this brand new watering can. 
I'm afraid that's no businessman. That's bootleg, Bill. And that's no watering can. That's a watering can't. Bugger me, I paid ten bob sterling for that. It happens to the best of us, Herbert. Just last week he swindled my wife with a wet dream catcher. So keep your eyes peeled, your head on a swivel, and a johnny on your button. You now need to take this down to the station. Good grief, this town is going to the dogs. You better keep an eye out, lad. Ah, good idea. You can go in and all. Did you see that bird earlier? That's our bird, that is. Ah, Bubba Bossy, that's a sparkling. It's double checking for customs, or he has to pretend he's a pencil case. And now he's going to let go. Catch of the day! You've been up to some mischief with us, I'll bet! What are you on about, Jasper? I don't know. Wait till your Ma hears about this! I'm taking this back to my toolbox, and I'll see you at the triple, lad! Jasper, you puppy, do me nothing! Ah! Florence, calling calls. He's bringing me some roses to smell. We're going to buy with balls on a date. We're going to go to second base, swapping shoes. Kerry, if you don't give over, I'm going to tell Mummy I've been drinking a nail varnish in the park. I can't believe the cheek of that wee boy. I dread to think the trouble he was up to with this old thing. Anyway, I think I've almost cracked her open. Take a look inside, won't you? See if you can't flush all this muck out. That's your pipes all cleaned out, and I fixed the fryer. Oh, thanks, lovey. I hope it wasn't too much bother. I'll put you some chippies on. I need bother at all. But where does all that oil drain out to, anyway? Oh, I've got no clue, love. <laughs> Open for business. <sighs> Morning. Oh dear. Poor lad's in a right state. <sighs> oh, hello there, young man. Thank goodness you're here. I've got this delicious cup of tea here, you see. But uh, I'm afraid it's as black as a bin bag in there. It really is. I'd go and get some more milk. I, I would, but the, the, the trouble is, I'm afraid I'm... I'm... I'm, I'm milk shy. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, thank goodness you're here, lad. Ah, oh, Bessie's sick as a pig. Chippies usually perk her up, though. Oh, you couldn't go up to Marge's and get us some, could you? She's neither use nor ornament till she's had her chippies. Job. How do? Hi there, Mr. and Mrs. Bingy. Very nice to meet you both. Now then, Jack, how about a lager beer? Ah, go on then. Hey, I like him already. 
Wow, Mrs. Bingy. This is bingy. This is delicious. I've never had pie and swede before. Thank you, Jackalus. Well, what do you normally have with your pie at home, lad? Well, usually the pie is big enough on its own. Big enough? Oh, oh look, no. please, don't make a fuss. Big enough? No, love, I won't have it. Not under my roof. Not on my dinner table. Love, please. I really didn't mean anything by it. You shut your mouth! Oh, damn! And you can shut it and all. No daughter of mine is going with a big pie, man. Good morning. Thank goodness you're here. It's my breakfast time already, and I need some shopping. But I'm bed-bound, and I don't like other hands touching my shopping. Might you be able to assist? Oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. Again. When am I going to see the back of you, you wee melon heed? Uh, actually, I've got just the job for you. Why don't you head down to Price Shaggers and pick us up some spirit level bubbles? <laughs> hey, boys. <laughs> <laughs> How does that sound? Right, away you go. I've got it tough, me. Yeah? Huh? We both do. We're tatties. Oh, I. Yep. Potty to a bed. Dirt for breakfast. Dirt for dinner. And we also sleep in sacks. Exactly. And for what? Best case scenario, we're peeled, chopped up, and drowned in oil. Aye, we've got it tough, us. Aye, we've got it tough. But at least we're all right now. had a bath before. So, do you, do you come here often? This is awfully nice. I got it from a car boot sale. No, I went and I was, I said, that's an awfully strange car boot. And he said, well, it's a hot tub. 
Uh. Find the place, okay then. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Can you drink this? Sleep it off down the station. Rid of me that! Pickle be this! Hold on to me brush, I'm about to piss! What are you wearing? Green dungarees and a flat cap? You're not going to believe this. <laughs> Heavens to beat room. I need to get that fixed. Hey, hey now. Here for the spirit level bubbles, is it? Well, you're in luck. We just got a fresh batch in this morning. They're in the back here, look. You'll need this. Good luck. I says, it's an oven cloth. 
Where else am I supposed to put it? In the oven. Oh, hello. Oh. 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 Is that real felt? How much? Ten bob. Very reasonable. What do you reckon, love? We still got that cabbage money. Is that bootleg Bill? Look, everyone. This young man's caught bootleg Bill. It's more of a Cumberland cross, really. Settle down, settle down. Thanks to this young man's incredible police work, I can safely declare bootlegging in this town has been knocked on the head. Still at large. Oh, what's this? Gammy's breakfast blend. And only 40 years out of date. We'll take the lot. Hello, shopkeep. Hello. Oh dear, this one's homogenized. All together, that's. Ten bob. Bye bye, shopkeep. Come on, yep, come on through, come on through. That's a public glide away, this. Hang on, this isn't even plugged in. in bed. Dinner's ready! Love? Hey, love. Look who's come for tea. Hello, lovey. Just in time for soup. All homemade. But oh no. It looks as if our cuckoo clock is broken. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, it's really broke. Please won't you help us fix our clock? Forget that clock and batch this mole. We need to knock him down the hall. Your garden's fine. Come here instead and help me slice my crusty bread. Spin my grinder round and round. Don't stop until my meat is ground. I think, I think it's still a little, little broke. Help, Help us fix our ticky tock. Where have you been, lad? Can't you see? There's 40 moles and one of me. 
Cherry got a proper slice. Move the handle left and right. Spinning quickly is the key to make the mince for shepherd's tea. Before we all sit down to eat, we'll have to bash on every beat. Now then, lad, my garden's full of dirty moulds you need to call. Now then, shall we do it right? Left and right is my advice. Turn the crank and make it snappy. We need this beef to make the patties. That leaky jam come help with this. I need to chop up all my fish. Help me please, I'm in distress. I just can't see with all this mess. Forget that truck, we need you more. There's too much soup spilled on the floor. That's it, young man, you've mocked enough. Now help me chop me tatties up. Come on, lad, you must too slow. Give that card another go. I can scarcely drive my truck if I can't see from all this muck. A woman's work is never done. Clean up, please, and I don't want. Where have you been, you silly sod? Chopping chippies is your job. How am I supposed to sell a fish that's still alive and well? Look at this, an awful mess. My wife has left me, I'm depressed. Sorry, sir, you've got your mop. You always for that damaged stock. Oh, there you are, you little dip. Jibby, 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 jibby. Help me keep the crime at bay. My dog needs stroking every day. Really, Tane, make it quick. Spin us round and make us sick. Hurry up and make it tick. Give that filthy mold a stick. Slice the bread and make it thin. Careful now, my arm is in. That's it, young and bash that bloke. Won't you give my dog a stroke? Spin it, let's see what I've got. Push until we both fall off. Do you not hear what we both said? Bash that mole until it's dead. Cut straight through that lovely crust. I don't feel soup, but what needs must? A bash a day keeps felons down. I've got the cutest dog in town. I hope I catch a fish or two. What's the matter, feeling blue? Please don't stop me, love that clock. Give that bastard mole a knock. My loaf needs slicing, can't you tell? My arm is in this blooming thing. Slash me up and right in two. Steady on, this bed's brand new. Help us with the sticky floor. I think they need a little more. Hang on, why is it me itself? So? Oh, Reggie's quite unwell. Now we've hit the mother lord. Send us flying down the road. Cut me head off, I'm a fish. Who taught you to drive all this? Looks like money's on the shores. You need to chop some more, of course. Easy now, let's keep it civil. Look at little Reggie dribble. Now I'll come by tea tonight. Send us flying like a kite. Don't be shy, I'll like it rough. I just can't rhyme well off the cuff. Poor old Ronnie's fish is catch. We'll put them in the fryer next. How the chuff did you get there? My poor dog's beyond repair. Our beds is like my only friend. Send us spinning round the bend. 
Picks up look, it's really broke. Bop the ball. He's in our hole. Rush is in, he's nearly dead. Put the gold until he's dead. Push that box and squash these two. Easy top, it's good for you. Bang the nail now, please don't fuss. It's better if you stay with us. Time to tick him, ticky tug. Get him, match him, make him stop. You have the right to get knocked down. Chop that fish, your blood comes out. I miss my dad, I miss my mum. In your tummy, yum yum yum. I love the smashy bandy sound. Don't be coy now, stick around. Fix the clock, fix the clock. Bop the ball, bop the ball. Bash the head, bash the head. Cut the cut, cut the cut. Bash the box, bash the box. Eat it up, eat it up. Bang the nail, bang the nail. Shh, shh, shh. Cut the fish, in the hole. Eat the sea, bash the ball. Bash the tattoo, bash the box. Lotterinos, fix the glass. Goodness you're here. I'm just about to tuck into this delicious Amsani and I've lost the mayoral mustard. <laughs> 